Hey, what's up guys? It's Dakota with another video, and today we're doing something a little bit different, but we got here the 9 slash 10 inch polisher from Auto Spa. Now, as you guys know, I used to do car detailing a few years back, and I like to use certain polishers and stuff like that. Now, this is a very basic starter kit for around $40 at $40, $50 at Walmart, AutoZone, and stuff like that. Now, the reason I'm picking this up is because this is readily available to a lot of people and the more professional tools aren't quite at, like, you know, at the shelves that you can just go out and buy necessarily. So this is just something everybody can go get their hands on. And I'm going to test it out to see if it's any good because I'd rather mess up my Civic's paint than you guys mess up your paint. So that being said, we're going to start on the hood of the Civic and see how it goes. And if you guys stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to give you an update on what exactly we're going to do with this Mustang. Alright guys, so when you open the box, this is exactly what you're going to see. It looks just like this right here. Um, good stuff and bad stuff about this. Good is that it is orbital, which is very good. It helps you not exactly get caught on the paint, so you don't you run a lower chance of burning the paint, which is very good. I like that on my buffers. One thing I don't necessarily like is that it's uh, only one speed on and off. I like to control the speed, and then also I wish it was extended like the DeWalt and Torx buffers that you see the professionals using. Then again, this is only $40, so you can't really complain that much. We're still going to see how it works. Um, coming over to the top, this is your buffing pad, that is your polishing pad, and this is your finishing pad. So we're going to see how all that goes. Another thing I don't necessarily like about it is that these are the ones that you wrap on top of it. I don't really like that just because they have a higher risk of coming off and damaging the paint. but. Again, this is entry level buffer, so it's okay. And this is what we're going to be working with today, my Civic's hood. It is a Texas car, so as you can tell, it's pretty faded, but that's okay. I'm going to leave that side untouched, and then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like after a buff, a polish, and then a finish. So we can go by this step by step. Alright guys, so we just got done with the buffing section of things, and honestly, I don't know if you could see it, but it didn't do that bad, honestly. It cleaned up some of the oxidation let's see you see like right there it did clean up a decent amount of the oxidation so that's not too bad for a forty dollar buffer so um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on the other pad the uh, polishing compound uh, give that a buff and I'll show you what happens alright guys just got done with the stage 2 polishing and I gotta say I'm starting to get a little impressed with this buffer um, as you can see now you can clearly see it's really starting to leave a nice little finish like starting to bring some shine back Obviously, it's not perfect yet, but it's a lot better. Um, I do have one gripe I've noticed about the buffer. So, obviously, it's a one speed, but if you're going at it for a few minutes, it starts to, even if you are still going, like, connected to a power source, it starts to lose power, I've noticed. So, I don't know why it does that. Just no matter how you angle it or whatever, it starts to just lose power after a few minutes. So, that is one thing that's a little weird, but I'm going to go ahead and hit up stage 3 on this and see how it looks. Well guys, I gotta say, I'm impressed. This little buffer really showed me wrong. So I'm going to show you the paint right now. We did the buffing, the, uh, po the stage 2, and now we just did the polish. Now another thing I didn't get to mention earlier is that it does not come with any compounds. I'm using all Meguiar stuff because that's just the brand I really enjoy. But when I show you this, it's actually really cool. Okay guys, so as you can see over on this side, it is very heavily oxidized, that's like how we started it. Pulled it out into the sunlight and bam, as you can see, there's actually some shine to it now. And it came out really well, we did all three stages of it. The main thing that impressed me with this is that there's no swirl marks, because as a detail, that's one thing that always got me in the end is the swirl marks, and thanks to that little random orbital, it really did good. We didn't use any sandpaper on this, so there's still going to be some imperfections, but that's okay. Everything else on it is looking really good. I'm honestly really happy how this came out. It looks great. I think I'm even going to continue uh, doing the fender just to show you guys how much it will affect it more. So this is the fender beforehand. And I'll go ahead and do all three stages and show you how it looks after.
I just got done doing a full three-stage polish with this and I gotta say once again this really impressed me as you can see not really any swirl marks it all came out really nice I know the paint is a little in bad condition over here but other than that like that over to here it's looking really nice again and you know there's that over there but I gotta say this is a really good little buffer and then so I did actually do some sanding on some part of the car I did a uh, over here on the top right over here I did a sand a slight light sand uh, polish and buff and all that and it came out really well it helped it look nice and shiny again it's looking good let me show you what the other side looks like just for reference so as you can see yeah this is what it looked like before so still a little faded but now it's looking a whole bunch better all right guys so I gotta say after making this video with this little buffer and doing all that it's a pretty good little buffer for a starter. I, I've got to say, it really impressed me. I didn't expect it to do as well as it did, but with like no real swirl marks or real paint damage to the car and the ease of use, it honestly did pretty good. Now, if you have something like a Corvette or something more high tier, like an S2000 or something, I wouldn't buy it because that has a higher chance of damaging the paint, and I'd use a more professional buffer on high, higher tier cars. But if you have a little Civic or just you want to just start out on something to practice with, by all means, go for it. Go to your uh, local store, pick it up, and know it's going to be a good product. I highly recommend Meguiar's, but hey, that's just, you know, that's just me. But uh, Civic's starting to look pretty good. We're going to bring back the paint some more with it. But I do want to show you all the Mustang and talk about it. All right, guys, so we are here in the Mustang's engine bay, and as you can see by it being mostly apart, well, did a little exploratory surgery, and turns out head gaskets on this car are completely done for. Metal shaving in the oil, and when the intake manifold was on the car, it was completely full all the way to the top next to, just like all the way to the top with oil and coolant mixture. Fairly confident that that's not normal, so the motor is done on this car. Um, unfortunately, it's going to require a new motor completely. And that being said, so I know I said I wanted to put another motor in this and get it running again. So it's supposed to be my daily, and obviously that's the Civic now. Well, just doing some more research and then asking myself internally if I want to build this Mustang. Honestly, I I would have loved to, but we are just going to go ahead and let the Mustang go. Um, it is unfortunate because I did want to have a V8 rear-wheel drive car again because that's why I bought it. If I if it was honestly like a Fox body or a New Edge, I would have kept it. This generation isn't exactly my favorite, but it was a good price when I got it. So unfortunately, we're going to let it go because it's not what I feel in my heart I want to build. But I do promise you guys, we are going to be replacing the Mustang with something. Don't worry about that. Civic's here to stay, that is for sure, but the Mustang will be replaced with something. I don't know if I'm going to get another daily to uh, offset the Mustang and have a lot of fun and keep the Civic as a project, or just vice versa, get another project and do the Civic. I just want something my heart would be in more, whether it's a Fox body or something, I don't know, but we will figure that out. So, unfortunately, short life on the channel, but it was fun while it lasted and sorry to see it go but it's okay but thank you all so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed the video if you did please go ahead and help us out with subscribe and a like it would really help us out and mean a lot to us I'm gonna see a whole bunch of stuff on the civic and then hopefully replace this soon but i will see you all in the next one